All right. Main event time. Goldberg, Brock Lesnar, rematch from WrestleMania 20, I think. 20. Yeah, 20. 20. All right. Give us your predictions for the main event. Well, you know what? I'm going with Brock. I know it's, you know, it's a bit shocking that I pick it, but I don't feel like, I feel like Goldberg's not going to win just because it wouldn't really do much for him just to get this win off of Brock, and I feel like if a guy was to be Brock, then it'd give him that just, you know, that next big stuff, like the next John Cena. I do feel like there's going to be, like, a, a lot of good spots in this matchup, and maybe match of the night. I feel like there's going to be a really good jackhammer. Hopefully Goldberg doesn't struggle with it like he did with Chris. But I feel like there's going to be maybe a spear or a barricade or a spear or a bounce table. But you know what? Honestly, I got to go with Brock. I feel like he's going to like these two men, these guys are just going to collide with each other. But Brock's just going to get like one a huge F5 for the three count. And you, you know, I just feel like that hopefully Goldberg doesn't get injured in the matchup. Okay. Okay, I like it. Okay, nice. Alright, Ken, let's get, uh, what do you have to say? I have to agree with you with all, with the, um, spears, the barricade, and breaking the announce table, something like that. I have to agree with you on that. Where I really want to see is blood. Like, I haven't seen blood ever since, uh, WrestleMania 31. With uh, Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar, and uh, SummerSlam too. This past SummerSlam, then uh, I, I had to go with Lesnar. Like, did you see how all the superstars like Cena, uh, Taker, Roman, Dean, Rollins, you name it, all went to Suplex City? Like, I'm pretty sure that Goldberg. Well, I'm not. Let's keep this real. Goldberg is aging. He's um aging like he's old like you see all the gray hairs on his mustache like his hair is not black anymore so so me and my brother said that goldberg don't have the heat like he had from years ago like when he had at wrestlemania 20. so when brock lesnar did he sucked at that year so look at brock lesnar now is he the one that wrestled from years ago no he got a buff ass beast that's like Boys, that, that this nigga didn't even do. I feel sorry for you, Brock. And then, um, yeah, that's all I wanted to see. Like, I don't think this is done, like, no matter what. But, of course, Brock Lesnar's gonna win. Like, you seen that, uh, SummerSlam 2014, like, I don't know why the fuck I'm saying this. 16 Germans to John Cena, like, yeah. So, I'm gonna go with Brock. I don't know, man. I don't know. Let me tell you something. It's not the age. It's the spirit that never dies. And, and that's to be honest, true. I agree, I agree with you. It, that's to be honest, true. I, I, I think they brought Goldberg back to beat Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar's been on just a devastating path, killing everyone in this freaking way. Like He's taken everyone to Suplex City. And if there's anyone that could take Brock, it's Goldberg. Okay, I don't know. That's your opinion. I ain't gonna take that. Yeah, that is your opinion. Brian, I'm, gonna I'm, gonna say, gonna I'm gonna have to say Goldberg on this one. Okay. All right. Brian, what so. Okay. First off, I really don't want to see a huge disappointment in this match. Just because SummerSlam really, really, really was bad. I'm talking about the main event. Because Randy got his ass kicked. He literally hit an RKO, like, in a DDT. And then he just got his ass kicked. And he got busted wide open. Really, really bad. And Brock just won by TKO, just like that. And everybody was just like, what the hell happened? You're just going to end the match like that? And so, hopefully... Hopefully this turns out to be like a solid back and forth match between the two. Yeah, yeah. Goldberg might go to Suplex City for a bit, but eventually he's gonna hit a spear, a jackhammer, you name it, anything. But Goldberg, like you said, Carlos, it's not about the age; it's about the fighting spirit. Goldberg is—he may be almost fifty years old, which is in, which is intense, but I—he could still kick ass. He really could. So, I, 
I don't want to say Brock Lesnar on this one, but just because I what Carlos said, they brought back Goldberg to beat Brock Lesnar. They really did. So my final prediction is Goldberg, man. I gotta go with Goldberg. I respect I respect Ryan's opinion. I, I I just hope when he does his jackhammer, it's devastating. Like I just hope it's a crazy ass jackhammer. Yeah, he better he better not screw up the jackhammer like he did the Rusev. Or like, oh yeah, that was a box. Right I hope that shit looks so painful and breaks Brock in half. Hopefully, if hey, Brock sells it right. How would you guys react if, if, I'm just saying if, if like they do it, if, you know how Brock Lesnar did a suplex to the big show and broke the ring? Yeah. Oh yeah, from 2003. Yeah. That was a crazy match. Oh yeah. I, I'm just saying, because Brock could do that to Goldberg, and they, if they break the ring, that would be specific just as his final spot. Brock Dude! Oh my god. If that does happen, that will literally burn the entire place up. I'm telling you. Look, if that happens, if they break the ring, the crowd will scream at their top of, oh, at the top of their lungs. They will to go... To be honest, though, I think if they were to, like, break the ring, they would have to call it, like... No winner. It'd be like tied, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, that's that, that that's exactly really to like a rivalry. And like even if Goldberg were to lose, I think it would be like a t a chance to start a rivalry. And to be honest, I don't think Goldberg's gonna get like dominated like with all the other superstars. Like John Cena at SummerSlam, he went to Suplex City like crazy. That yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. I couldn't even watch that match. Like I had to turn and it off. Honest, I think even if Goldberg were to lose, I think it's, oh, he's not going to go to Suplex City. He's going to give a hell of a fight. Hopefully he you does, know? man. I really hope uh, he does. That, that, that's pretty pretty good prediction right there. But you know what? It could end in DQ to just elevate the feud. And you know what? If, if they were to break the ring, I'd like to see Goldberg do it. And him, like, get in the upper hand, maybe to elevate the feud to, like, Royal Rumble or maybe even WrestleMania, possibly. Hell, they don't even—they they don't even have to break the ring. I just want to see Goldberg spear the hell out of Brock Lesnar through a barricade. That would be like, and I want him to make sure it's like devastating, like when he used to spear the fuck out of Chris Jericho. Yeah, through the chamber. Oh yeah. That needs I to happen. To break that man in half. Well, I, I believe that's probably gonna be that, That's probably it. All right. Uh, so final prediction: Goldberg, Brock, Goldberg, Brock. All right. We're at like we're we're kind of we're kind of uh mixed with this prediction here because both there's two of us voting for Brock and there's two of us voting for Goldberg. It's pretty interesting. Yeah, you're right. All right. Let's just let's see what happens. Uh. I know it's been a one hell. I know this has been one hell of a video, but like, I just hate that this video just got interrupted so many damn times, just because you know, first we had to do, you know, first it was on the phone, then we had to do the iPad, and then we had to redo, um, you know, uh, toward like we had we had to redo the part where we were talking about the main event, and I was just like, oh my god, but you know what? We, I did rant about The Miz. I did, you know, get a little furious. And I will admit that, you know, sometimes um, my, my emotions get in the way of, uh, of what I'm saying. But look, I I just hope this turns out to be the best Survivor Series. Not just in a long time, but ever. I'm hoping this turns out to be better than NXT TakeOver Toronto. Yes, I just said that. Okay, that's a pretty like bold prediction right there. But you know what? This this is pretty stupid of me to me to say. But I'm gonna predict that uh, the gobbledygooker is gonna make an appearance tonight. Oh God! God damn it! No! No! <laughs> God, I don't think so, man. <laughs> no, I feel like Undertaker's gonna make an appearance because that's where he was born. Oh my God! Oh my! The funny like guys, I, guys. I had, like, a crazy prediction. It's, like, beyond crazy, but wouldn't it be cool if Undertaker, like, interrupted the match between Goldberg and Lesnar? What? That would be... Oh, I don't 
don't know about that. That would be very crazy. How sick would that be? Hey, but you know what? Another thing came to mind. Brock Lesnar was the one who beat the streak. So I could you That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Undertaker could come out and cost Brock the match. That's what I thought. I was thinking, because there's I'm more than hundred percent sure Goldberg's gonna win. You know what? Actually, you may have just changed my prediction there. Now that you say think that. About it. Oh crap. I'm starting to think about it and I might have to just go with Brock. I'm kinda mixed now. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Uh... You know what could happen? I kind of feel like the Undertaker is gonna cost Lesnar, but I don't feel I don't feel like he's gonna Undertaker is gonna feud with Lesnar. I say he's gonna feud with Goldberg and maybe have a WrestleMania match instead of fight facing John Cena. That's um, like so many predictions, guys. Like, I honestly, I I, I, I really tonight. yeah exactly I know. exactly. That's I, why I look, dude. Like it's just so unpredictable, you know. I I don't want to see that happen though. I honestly don't want to see Goldberg and Undertaker. I really don't. Because both men are like... Undertaker's already at, uh, already older than 50. And Goldberg's already going to be 50 pretty soon. So I'm sure nobody wants to see that at WrestleMania. Alright, fine. I'm going to just stick with Brock as my prediction. But you, you two put up like really good points. But Ryan, how would you feel? Who would you pick from either John Cena or... Goldberger stick to face the Undertaker. Oh God! Oh, well, Goldberg is definitely out. So I say John Cena, just because um, there was rumors going around they could put the title on Undertaker one last time and then have John Cena take it away from him at WrestleMania. That's true. Well, anyways, I think that that's gonna conclude the here because the pre-show I think is just starting. Yeah, the pre-show is just about to start right now. So. Oh, God, I can't speak anymore. Let's end this right now. <laughs> Let's enjoy Survivor Series. Hope it's one of the best of all time. I hope to God it is. If, it, if it's not, I am literally going to rage tomorrow when I go to school. I know. People, I, I, I hope, like last year's, because last year's was terrible. But you know what? This is always my favorite time of the year, just because I love, like, there's new wrestling figures coming out in the stores, like, and... Survivor Series I have, I have to look forward to. So, you know, I, I just love it. All right. Any last uh, words? Nice. We got the last words from Daniel. Any last words from Keon? Yes. That's it? <laughs> All right, guys. I just I just hope it's a really good Survivor Series. And to be honest, one last thing I have to say is Goldberg. Goldberg. Goldberg, Goldberg. All right, I'm going to end it right now. Oh, God. This has been going on for hours. Oh, God. All right. I'm going to watch the pre show. Hopefully, it's a good Survivor Series pay per view. Probably one of the best ever. God damn, it better be. Or I'm going to be salty as a pretzel tomorrow at school. Okay. Thank you guys for watching episode two. This has been a crazy episode because, you know, so many things happened. We got interrupted like three times. This could be a three-part episode. <laughs> Whatever happens, happens. It's all good. Let's end it. Um, say goodbye to, to Daniel. Say goodbye to Keon. Say goodbye to Carlos. And say goodbye to Asylum Reviews. Let's end it with one last Goldberg chant. Take it away. Goldberg, Goldberg, Goldberg. Goldberg.